2016-17 Penn State hockey season is coming up very shortly, and we're pleased to be joined here on Media Day by Penn State head coach Guy Godowski. Coach, a new season is on the horizon. What goes through your thought process? What is your thought what process is is like right now? You know what? It's always exciting. I think the biggest thing, the way we think as a coaching staff mm -hmm. is you're always excited to see what you thought was going to happen with freshmen if it is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So it's always exciting to see who whose game transfers to a, a Division One level. Well, I want to talk about some of those newcomers, and you have 11 newcomers on the roster. What does it take to get them to adapt to Penn State hockey? A lot of it is, a, is giving them the opportunity, and sometimes that doesn't happen as much. The fact that we have 11 plus a, another goal center 12, because we have such large numbers, I think the opportunity is almost more. So you're going to see freshmen put into situations that you normally wouldn't because of necessity. Um, that can work out in a positive way. Or if they're not quite ready, it can work out. It can be some, you know, some growing pain. So we'll see which one it is. Yeah, the guy I was excluding was defenseman Trevor Hamilton, who also has experience at the Division One level. That's You're right. trying to replenish a group of forwards and defensemen. So how much do you count on these newcomers early, and what do they have to do to make themselves uh, develop a chemistry with the team? That sometimes happens at different times, and I, I think it's a matter, you know, one of the things we complain that we don't get on the ice enough um, mm -hmm. as, it, as coaches with these players and that they're, they're doing captain's practices. But, but the other hand, th that's a good way to develop chemistry. They're, they're not listening to a coach. They're, they're all out there on their own, and they're sort of figuring it out. And I actually think that helps. And when you have good quality guys, I think that process is a little quicker, and I'm, I'm very confident in the quality that we have in the locker room. You obviously have an identity that your team has formed over the years, and that's getting the puck to the net, playing extremely hard on the back check. With that identity, how does that identity develop over the course of a season? It's it's developed over years also. Mm -hmm. It's not just what you do in the season. It's it's developed uh, year after year, and, and, and so that I think will continue, but you're always adjusting a little bit. The, what we have now more than before is probably a little, little higher hockey IQ, a little, little quicker. Um, and that's by design, and we'll see how that plays into our identity. I hope the back checking that you referenced always stays the same, and that's about work ethic. And when you have guys like Jimmy Pucks, Ricky DeRosa, I don't think we're going to have any problem setting that standard. So is that kind of follow, does that kind of follow the idea that each year, each team takes on its own personality? A little bit. You want, you, you want your program to have an identity, I mm -hmm. feel. That's what we want. And, and we know what the fans here at Bagul enjoy, and we want to give it to them year after year. But you're always tweaking a little bit and trying to get better in, in certain areas. So there is always a, you know, every team is new. Every team's its own team. Some of that has to do with the chemistry you spoke about um, as well as the skills. And you'll have a new goaltender this year, we most will. likely, with Peyton Jones coming in, highly touted out of the USHL. Chris Funky is a part of that mix as well, and Matt Ehrlichman, who you referenced a few moments ago. First, can you talk about Peyton and what he brings to the ice? Yeah, he's, he's an athlete. I mean, he's a big 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 athlete he's, he's a big physically athlete and he's a big time athlete um, he's someone that had a lot of success uh, love his attitude love his attitude he's a bit of a goalie but in a very positive way um, he's someone that showed that he had a lot of success as a, as a starter in the USHL and he deserves every opportunity to, to see if he can do that at the Big Ten level um, we actually had hoped that he wouldn't get quite the amount of opportunity to do that until a year down the road but uh, with Eamon McAdam signing we, we're here where we're at and we have to figure it out so he's going to get that opportunity he deserves it um, as far as Chris Funky goes he was exceptional exceptional for every time he that he played um, he's doing exactly what we wanted him to do uh, the guys just love him and I think that's really important as a goaltender how hard the team plays in front of you and I think that's a big part of his success this will be the fifth year as a division one program does the perception, the approach, the expectations, does that change at all as you start to move away from the start of something new? Yeah, it does. I think it's it's a natural progression. Mm -hmm. I think that every year, though, is a little bit different because in our sense now is there's 11 new faces, um, 12 overall, and, and that's got to play a little factor. I don't think that we can expect that we're going to come out of the gates as well-oiled as what you saw last year. Um, at the same time, the fellow depending on the development of those players. We'll see what we get at the end. Well, I know the fans are looking forward to it. Do you look forward to seeing this place filled? Oh, I can't wait. It's the best. It's so much fun. It's so much fun to, to, to watch a hockey game here. It's, it's a lot of fun to coach it, too. And you had a chance to watch a hockey yeah, game here. You yeah. don't get that opportunity much no, the other night. First time. First time. It's a beautiful rink. <laughs> <laughs> coach, thanks for looking forward to the season, and we'll chat with you every week. Thank you so much, and good luck. Uh, thanks, Tripper.
Penn State head coach Guy Gadowski with us here on GoPSUSports.com.